Good day, one more fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Port Lincoln Airport here in South Australia, and today I'm flying Qantas Link 8300 from Port Lincoln to Adelaide. It's my second time in my life to fly Dash 8. So my first time was yesterday. I did Adelaide to Port Lincoln, and I've already got that trip report uh, in the on my channel, and you can find the link in the description down below. Now I'm gonna see you in the terminal. Port Lincoln Airport was only one of the two locations in South Australia that was featured in a Qantas safety video in 2017. Before we step inside the terminal, let's rewind and have a look. It's the crew's job to get you where you're going safely, so follow their instructions at all times. Welcome to the Spirit of Australia and have a great flight. So now here we are in the Port Lincoln Airport Terminal. So the main difference between now and 2017 is that now they've got a baggage carousel and you have to wear a face mask. About 15 minutes before the estimated departure time, the check-in staff arrived at the airport and soon they're going to begin the check-in process. They opened up the check-in a few minutes later and advised us that there'll be a 20 minutes delay. So right now I'm inside Port Lincoln Airport Terminal. Behind me is check-in. Um, went there to drop off my bag and check in just now. Behind me is the tarmac, going to wait for the plane there. They call that the lounge behind me, but it's just a cafe. You have to pay for everything. Uh, baggage reclaim behind me rental car that's it really i'm in the so-called lounge um the outdoor area of it quite nice here the only one i'm the only one here and behind me is the tarmac i'm gonna watch the Qantas link from adelaide to land and then later we're gonna board that plane a bit longer there we go okay ah uh... Our aircraft is now landing at Port Lincoln Airport. It's a 17-year-old Qantas Link Dash 8 Q300 Victor Hotel Tangle Quebec Delta wearing the brand new Qantas livery. It's soon time our time to board the aircraft, and by the way, there's no security screening at Port Lincoln Airport, but they'll soon introduce that in around July. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you very Thank much. You. Just on the right hand yep. side. Lovely. Thank you. 
Welcome on board Qantas Link Dash 8, seat configuration 22, only economy class here, and my seat today is 5A. Your seat width here is about 17 inches, and your leg room 31 inches. It's great to have you with us. While you're making your way to your seat, please maintain a distance between yourself and other customers where possible. On this flight to Adelaide, it's mandatory for all customers and cabin crew to wear a face mask. You will be permitted to remove your mask for a short period to eat or drink or the unlikely event of an emergency. Fly well packs were made available to you as you boarded the aircraft and additional masks and wipes are available on request. Masks and wipes, whether used or unused, must be taken with you when you disembark the aircraft. If you are feeling unwell now or should you become unwell during the flight, please alert a crew member and follow their instructions. Please place any larger bags in the overhead lockers, smaller bags under the seat in front of you and take your seat as quickly as possible to keep the aisle clear. If you're in the exit row, please place all baggage in Boarding was completed within five minutes and seven minutes after the boarding was commenced, engine startup. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important that you are familiar with the safety equipment on this aircraft, so please give us your full attention for important safety information. Whenever the seatbelt sign is on, you must have your seatbelt fastened. Keeping it fastened, even when the sign is off, may help in avoiding injury during unexpected turbulence. There are 48 seats on board this aircraft and 23 passengers, so just about half full. I'll now sanitize my seat and go through the seat features at the same time. So seat back there's no TV, there is no cut hook on the side, tray table is fixed, you can't move it back and forth or fold it. There's one seat pocket here for your literature items. Leg room 31 inches, it's really adequate for this half an hour flight.
two cabin crew on board today's flight are wasting no time and begin their service right away. So everybody receives a bottle of water and a cookie. Coffee and tea follow later. Cold drinks, you can ask them and they'll bring it from the galley. Have a very good afternoon, folks. Captain Quinton, you're going to take my personal change. Uh, white is a no sugar, sugar, please. A very warm one, one for your contact service, sir. I'm through to, uh, you okay? I'm making, I'm making right now through, uh, Leather South. All the way to, uh, 50 South Sea Rock Cruise. And, uh, I'm going to go straight east. Unfortunately, uh, all the views are covered by the south today. And we'll, uh, cross the York National very shortly. And, uh, from there we'll turn towards Port Adelaide. So earlier on they gave you the cup and milk and the actual drinks actually come later. For a very short flight like this one, I'm really impressed by what's offered. I can imagine a lot of global airlines operating outside of Australia won't do this on such a short flight. We'll soon be landing into Adelaide Airport and I'll quickly conclude this report with Qantas Link 8Q300 right here right now. So first of all, at Port Lincoln Airport it was a really cool experience. I got a ramp staff to check in for me and there's no security screening at the airport. The cafe at the airport was pretty nice. I particularly liked the seating area outside. When you're flying out from a small airport like Port Lincoln with your Qantas status, you don't really get many perks other than priority baggage at arrival and extra baggage allowance. There's no priority check-in, no priority boarding and no lounge obviously. And I think it'll be a pretty good idea if they actually give you a voucher to use in that cafe. Now on board the aircraft, the seat was really comfortable for this half an hour flight to Adelaide. Leg room was really good. There's no headrest, but there's a soft cushion for your head so you can still have a good comfortable nap. The coffee and tea is always good. The cookie was pretty good, but it wasn't amazing. It was a bit hard for my preference. And finally, the two cabin crew on board our flight today are friendly. You can see their smile on their face even though they're wearing a face mask. Unfortunately due to the short flight time and also the service I didn't have time to go to the lavatory because the moment I finished my coffee oh sorry tea and cookie rather the captain announced to the cabin crew to prepare the cabin for landing. So overall a really good experience with Qantas today. For your information if you want to fly from Port Lincoln to Adelaide one way with Qantas Link it will cost you $174. Now here we are, One World Fly Squad. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed this short trip report today. Remember to use this hashtag on Instagram whenever you travel again so I see where your journey is taking you. If you're new to my channel then you're probably missing out a lot. I upload a new trip report here every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time. That is 1.30pm in South Australia. So if you subscribe now and click that bell button every time I upload on a Thursday you'll get notified. Please, if you haven't liked this video, comment down below and share this video with your aviation friends. Each and every of your action will help the growth of my channel. I'm also available on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. You can go keep up to date with me on those social media platforms. I also offer memberships on Patreon and YouTube directly. We're now flying over the gorgeous Henley Beach. Now thanks again for watching. Enjoy the landing and approach into Adelaide and I'll see you later in the Q&A. Bye.
baggage from the rear of the aircraft. For those of you leaving us here in Adelaide, your bags will be available in the baggage claim area on the ground floor. Please check the screen for the arrival call for the carousel number. For those passengers with premium hand baggage, please remain at the foot of the aircraft stairs or ramp to collect your bag. For those of you transferring to another domestic or international flight, please pass through security and make your way to the departure area. If you are continuing on an international flight, you should proceed to the outgoing customs and immigration area by following the signs in the terminal. For Jetstar domestic flights, you will need to collect your bags and make your way to the departures area for Jetstar check-in. As always, the Qantas ground team are happy to help. Although we're on the ground for your safety and the safety of those around you, please stay in your seat with your seatbelt firmly fastened until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Take care when opening overhead lockers as bags may have moved during the flight. Once the seatbelt sign is off, please remain seated until the customer in front of you has commenced disembarking and there is sufficient space in the aisle before you retrieve your items from the overhead locker. You will be leaving through the forward door. We recommend you use the handrail to assist you safely onto the tarmac. Before you leave, remember to check your seat and your seat pocket for any personal items. We also ask you to maintain distance between yourself and other customers while you disembark today and throughout the terminal, including the baggage claim areas. Remember to take all masks and wipes off the aircraft and place them in general waste bins within the terminal. Smoking and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted while disembarking and throughout the airport. Please ensure your mobile phone and electronic devices are not in use between the aircraft and the terminal. You must continue to wear a face mask as you exit the aircraft and into the terminal building. On behalf of Wanislink and the team today, welcome to Adelaide and thank you for flying with us. We hope you have enjoyed the flight and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Welcome back to Q&A. Uh, today, Lily is here but sleeping, so I won't disturb her. So I've got a few questions and let's begin with a Virgin Australia cabin crew. Cabin crew chat. What's the nicest thing that's happened to you on board? Uh, when the cabin crew go extra and beyond to treat you, it's always so nice, like extra tea, extra champagne, extra food. And when they chat with you, it's always nice. And when they recognise you from YouTube, it's like, oh, amazing. Another level. Another cabin crew from Virgin. Happy Fridge. Where will be your first overseas trip and why? And um, New Zealand, obviously, because they're so far the only country that's opened to Australia and uh, vice versa. Jet Setter Chell, first place you'll travel when travel is back. Um, so I got those questions actually last year, so they might be they might be a bit uh, outdated. But first place to travel when travel is back was Brisbane for me, and then a whole lot of places in Australia that I haven't been to. And internationally, New Zealand's going to be my first, and second, and third, and fourth, and probably fifth. This is Richie from Brisbane. Do you like me? Obviously, I do miss you, mate. Wendell, when will you visit Nottingham, England? When borders reopen? I can't wait. Australasia, plane spotting. Favourite aircraft livery? My favourite aircraft livery, one of my favourite would be Qantas uh, 787. Yeah, I'm driven livery. I've been on that aircraft twice. It's pretty nice. Uh, I did Hong Kong to Brisbane once and Darwin to Sydney once. I've got one more favourite and it's a uh, cafe, I think the Spirit of Hong Kong livery, but that's not here anymore, unfortunately. My friend Travel Care Bears from Sydney, do you like staying here more than Hong Kong? I think here is in Australia or Adelaide. Uh, it's 50-50 really, there's pros and cons everywhere. I like it in Hong Kong because it's so convenient, you don't need a car, uh, a lot of things are 24-7, you don't get bored. In Australia, I like the uh, outback here, I like how chilled people are, um, weather is nicer, especially in Adelaide. 
Mm. And good food in both places, actually, I would say. Colin, lockdown. <laughs> favourite wine. I don't really have a favourite wine because I'm not yet a wine expert. If you ask me that next year, I'll probably have a better answer for you. But so far, at the moment, whatever gets me drunk is my favourite. Glenn from Sydney, have you ever been invited to the Mile High Club? No. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned.